Hey guys, my name is Reiji. I've been an animator since 2010 and today I'm going to show you how to make your animated lightning look like actual lightning in Adobe After Effects. So here's a small clip of what we'll be doing today and the raw animation file including the After Effects file will be available on my $1 Patreon tier and I will have a link somewhere in the description but also on the video for you to check out. So let's get right into it. So now that we are inside After Effects, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is drag our lightning animation right into the composition here. And as usual, I usually animate my stuff in 4K. So the next thing we're gonna do is hit Control Alt F. And doing that basically resizes the full animation right into the perfect size of 1080p. Or I think this one's actually 720p. Um, I wanna show you two different versions that we're gonna do today. One is a little bit easier and especially for beginners that are a bit new to After Effects and two is uh, the a bit more precise and advanced kind of technique that I recommend to people who have been using After Effects for a while or are uh, specifically fond of the basics of Adobe After Effects. So first version is pretty simple. We're gonna do right click and go to layer styles. And if you've used Photoshop before, this will look very familiar to you. We're just gonna use Outer Glow. And what Outer Glow does is it creates a anti-aliased like outer layer that is feathering out into the distance. So if I just increase the opacity here and the size, you'll see exactly what it does. And it creates this like super cool lightning effect, which actually pretty closely looks to uh, what you usually see in the anime. Um, and what's really cool is that you can go in here. Uh, let me show you that again. Go click into the color here. Brings up this color menu, color window. And you can pick pretty much any color you want to. Um, for this video though, we're gonna stick a little closer to what Dragon Ball does and it has blue lightning. Uh, this is looking pretty good already. I'm liking that already. And this looks pretty much fine already. Maybe just a little less opacity, make it not hit as strong. And let me check on the size here. That's a little bit too much. I kind of like the look of that the most. Kind of what we had earlier. Let me just render this real quick. And there's our lightning animation. This is pretty much the easiest way <laughs> to go about it. But if, um, if you want to put a little bit more work into this and make it look a little bit more unique, here is the second version I'm gonna show you. It's, it takes a little bit more time, but it's always worth it. So I'm just gonna get rid of this outer glow effect here. And this is what it looks like without the effect, just a couple white lines. And what we're gonna do is I wanna add a gradient to the lightning so it just isn't this plain white color but like actually a gradient that changes the color inside the actual fill um, it sounds a, it sounds a little bit funny but you'll get what I mean in a second so I'm just gonna hit Control D to duplicate and then the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here um, ah, we're gonna use the ramp effect to create the gradient we want and we definitely want to have a radial ramp uh, start of the ramp should be where the center is 
And let me just change the end of the ramp to somewhere outside. Yeah. Kind of like this. I'm gonna swap the colors though. And then, um, I'd say let's stick to blue again, like we did in the first version. So I'm gonna select a bright blue color here. Uh, almost white, but still with a blue hue in it. And then we're gonna go pick a darker blue here. Yep, I think that looks fine. Alright, so I'm just gonna show you again what we did here. Basically add a little, small little gradient. And then we're gonna duplicate this again because we wanna make it glow. But I don't wanna use the outer glow effect. And what we're gonna do is we'll change the blending mode and in case you don't have this menu here you just gotta go to toggle switches and modes which changes the modes you have here for turning on anti-aliasing 3d um, but we don't need this for this tutorial so I'm just gonna switch back here and change the mode to add and you see it's already glowing very strong but what we're missing here is Gaussian blur so we're just gonna drag this effect on top of this here and turn up the blurriness so it looks a little bit like this also um, we're gonna delete the first lightning layer which is this white one since we don't really need this here gonna delete that turn both of the layers back on and now we actually have a lightning that looks a, a little bit more original um, but I think we can do a little bit more. We can make it glow a little bit more. Um, so I'm just gonna duplicate again. Control D. And I think this looks pretty cool so far. It looks really stylistic and doesn't look as simple as compared to what we had before. So I'm just gonna render this real quick and see how it looks like. So, now the video is actually fully rendered. Um, funny enough, I actually had to restart After Effects because uh, my computer really didn't like recording and rendering at the same time. So, like, it, it ate up literally my entire RAM. So, this is what it looks like. And I think it, it's definitely a nice alternative to what we had earlier. But I think we can tweak it a little bit more because uh, I think we should make this look a little bit more brighter. So I just want to find a frame here where we see the lightning come out really well. Yeah, I think that's a good frame. Um, I want to actually go and change the colors to something that's a lot more brighter. So I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna make this almost white and also change this blue into a way brighter hue. Like so. And then we're gonna move to the bottom layer there and do the same thing. It's totally fine if uh, the, the colors are not the same. It makes the whole thing look a lot more interesting. Uh, let me just check here. A little bit brighter. Yeah, it looks a little, almost a little unnatural there. So here we have the final product of the second version of the Lightning. Now, this is something you don't really see in Dragon Ball, but a lot of animes actually use this technique of compositing. As usual, if you want to switch the colors, let me just show you real quick before we finish this video. You can always switch the colors by combining, marking all of these layers, go to layer, pre-compose. Huh, let me just show you this video, this window, not video, hit OK. And what you can do, especially in After Effects, which makes it really cool, just go to 
hue and saturation, drag that effect on top of here. And from here, by just turning the master hue, you can always change the color of the lightning. So if you want to have this yellow lightning here, you can easily just switch the colors. And this is one of the reasons I love After Effects so much, because there's so many ways to do things. And I just, huh, I, I just, hmm, I, I think I just, just <laughs> I can't even speak anymore. Um, I, I'm actually very surprised by how good it looks like with uh, a blue, uh, a yellow lightning. So yeah, that's it. I hope you liked this little tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask away in the comments or let me know if you have any future requests for tutorials you want to see. Um, for frequent updates, I recommend following me on Twitter or Instagram. And I guess I see you guys next time. Bye bye. And the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at what we're burger. <laughs> what is wrong with me today? I can't fucking. Ugh.